Hey everybody and happy Friday. Welcome to another episode of Cato Emotion Plays. Uh, we are your host. I'm Cato Emotion and this is producer Mike. Say hey Mike. Hey. Solid. Um, we're going to carry on with the game right now. We're on the seventh level uh, Forsaken Dungeons. And I think we're going to be talking a bit about uh, our favorite documentaries and some other stuff today. But if you have any questions for us, feel free to chime in at any point and we'll be happy to interact with you. But for now, we're going to get the ball rolling. All right, let's, let's start her off. The the All right. Also, if you were tuning in like five minutes ago, we had some latency issues, so we just decided to restart this. <laughs> FYI. Right, here we go. Round two. You know okay. it. Oh yeah, this is already way smoother. Nice. Oh, okay, box. maybe make another box? Sweet. Nice. Okay, so I need you to... Oh wait, no, I'm silly. I can just do this. Took it like a champ for no reason. Ah, there's a pot here. I'm just clearing the path. You got the pot? Uh, All right. one sec. I'm just stacking, nice. stacking boxes. Oh wait, we already have the pot. We already do? Interesting. All right. Yeah. Very cool. I guess it saved everything. I guess it saved some stuff. Nice. All right. We did miss one pot at the beginning, yes, so this kind of worked out. I like the whole steampunk just... environment of this. Yeah. Something oh, no. just hit me. Oh, it hit you. Ah, uh, just jump in the acid, we'll revive you. <laughs> That's one way That's to a kill dead skeleton. A, a skeleton. Indeed. Alright. Oh shoot. Legolas! Oh, these guys have armor now. You know, I know we were having some technical oh. difficulties um here for a minute. Oh yeah. You gotta make something to climb up. Yeah. I know we we're having some difficult technical difficulties here for a minute, but it still still amazes me that we're able to do this. That we're able to be across town, you know, and and play this game shooting up through a satellite. Like it's just kinda wild. And yeah. um today's Watch out for the switch. Oh right. Today's conversation Spike starter bars. is um is what do you think? The most important. I know. I thought I did it pretty well, but here I didn't. What do you think the I most? I thought you. Yeah. Important and. In... Ah. Oh! <laughs> uh, that's great. Oh, this is bad. Is this you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that didn't work. <laughs> That's the struggle right there. <laughs> nice. Nice. This is a less less than ideal situation, though. Yeah. I mean, I don't disagree. Wow. I you have can, no way to, like... Can't you move the... thing? Um, I'm <laughs> on it, so <laughs> That's it wasn't... one way to do it. Wowza. Yeah, that was my plan all along. And you still oh my gosh, one of the spikes is underwater. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. That's not wow. good. I am. Oh, that's a skeleton. That's Why? A skeleton. Because that's This a is horrible luck. Um, you can draw a box on top of his head. My camera angle right now is lowered, so I can't. Oh yeah? I don't think I could. This is bad luck. Okay. Noise. Oh, oh no. my gosh. Ah! Oh, come on, man. That was so good, though. Oh, no. Yes, do it. Oh, my gosh. I messed up ah! like three times. Ah! How do I get out? Oh, my gosh. 
Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my you did so. That was so epic. Of all the deaths we've had, that is going oh, to be history. Is the best. That was such a valiant effort. <laughs> that was tragic. <laughs> I'll try not to take life so much for granted. Oh, uh, when they're unlimited, it's pretty easy to do. <laughs> oh golly! Can I even make that jump? Ah, oh, curse me. Okay. That was. I'm. I'm impressed at your wizard skills. Nice work there, sir. Uh, thanks. I hate the wizard. Oh, jeez, no. Yep. I already killed another guy. I have no idea where. We're I'm not at. gonna get burned. Revived. That's where you are. Sanctified. Whatever. <sighs> okay. Uh, so where were we? <laughs> I th we were saying um, the last time we streamed that maybe we'll get better at this game. I think maybe the streams are just going to be longer because we're not getting better. <laughs> I think there's been some minor improvements. No, I'm, you can I'm, use the... I'm, being, I'm joking. I'm more talking about me. You actually did... Oh, right. Yeah, the shield thing works well. Oh, man, I left it. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of less than ideal. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> we have not introduced the subject to talk about. I know, because so I'm too busy like, trying to die. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, what is the most interesting documentary you've seen? That is rolling towards us. Get away, get away, get away, Spike. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. Don't worry, we're, we're, we're killing it. Okay, I can kill this skeleton. Oh. Uh, it's, yeah, like I was trying to say. Um, oh what God. is the most interesting documentary you have seen? <laughs> I... really like this new series on Netflix. And it's called... Oh, what you want? It's called The Earth at Night. I don't know if it's uh, the most interesting they have, documentary. Like, the epic. I'm terrible. Oh, yeah, sorry, go on. I'm dreadful at this game. Um, I don't know if it's the most interesting documentary I've ever seen, but um, I really like it. What they do with the cinematography to be able to use kind of like um, different filters on the lens, different night vision filters to be able to see animals uh, hunt at night and everything. Yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty, pretty interesting documentary. But that's like a oh, series. I don't know heard. if that counts. I mean, it's a nature show. No, it's 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 a docu series. Yeah, it's a thing. So that's been one counts. of my favorites lately. I don't know if that's the most interesting. I think the most interesting one I've ever seen was that one about cities that you and I saw together. What was the name of that? Oh one? man, that's that one out of uh, Copenhagen. We saw that together. Oh, maybe I watched it twice because I watched it before. That was actually going to be the one I was going to say that I really liked. I'm dead. That was careless. Um, so you're dead. Back to oh the my same goodness. spot. This is Don't crazy. worry, guys. We are really focused on succeeding. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, we won't. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, that docuseries is called The Human Scale. What's that one called? The Human Scale? The Human Scale. Yeah, that's a really good documentary. Was it a documentary? Ah, man, or was that a documentary? Just stand. Nope, just documentary, single. That was really good. So that one's about. Um, that one's told by a bunch of city planners, and it's talking about how cities are formed and why, and what we could do differently. So yeah, it follows um, an architect and professor, uh, Jan Giel, Gel, I think. G-E-H-L. Anyways, and he's been studying urban areas for over 40 years. He's collected all this data. And uh, basically, the documentary explores um, how harmful urban centers currently are in the world and how different they would look 
if they focused uh, urban planning around the human being. Uh, spoiler alert, it kind of leans itself more to like a European style city, but with more trees, I guess. So basically lots of uh, social centers for people to gather and interact, um, and obviously less roads. <laughs> No free ways unless they're on like the outskirts for transporting things, uh, which kind of already sounds like a European city. And when I originally watched this documentary, I was still living in Canada and we have tons of highways and every city is 30, 40, 50 kilometers away from each other. Like it takes me, I have to drive for an hour and a half to visit my brother, and we're technically yeah. still in That's the, the same GTA, as Ohio. which is yeah. insane. Yeah, makes no sense. But uh, that's what it's like in North America. Um, and yeah, it kind of got me really excited to move to Europe, and here I am in Europe. Admittedly, things are better here in terms of... Uh, yeah, planning. I really like that. Um, I really like that one. And I gotta say, there's a lot of, a lot of these projects that you're seeing even in American cities. Just like, may, so it's maybe not quite to the same extreme, but you're seeing a lot of American and North American and Canadian cities, um, in little ways rec reclaim pedestrian areas. Yeah. So that's that's um, a big one. Is reclaiming pedestrian areas and leaving a lot of, um, oh yeah, big, big man's not going to make it up there. And leaving a lot of this, um, car traffic uh, in the inner city, it's just, it's just kind of unnecessary. It does, it does take, uh, more of a public transit infrastructure though. You need some of that, but just, I don't know. You're seeing a lot of this with, uh, bike pads and bike and bus, um, and bike and ride. Like, people will drive their car a longer distance, and then they will... I don't know how to make it up here. How do I make it up here, Kevin? Yep, that's, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, okay, now we gotta watch out for these spikes. Oh, golly. I will lead the me? way. No, I wish I was. Spikes, man, they kill you. That is a true <laughs> statement. Uh, you can use the knight now to get through. Or you could kill the knight. I mean, it's up to you, man. Golly, <laughs> this is just... Um, Are you kidding me? Come on. Don't worry, you can make it, man. Just walk slow. Oh, wait, better idea. I can't believe I was speaking intelligibly just a minute ago. This is... Yeah. The game takes up all <laughs> We're my back brain. to it now. My brain space. We're all back right. to it. Oh, all you right. gotta break that. So, uh, yeah, city centers. What do you- wait, where, where are you going, man? There's a pot up here. There's a what up here? There's a pot up here? Okay. Yeah. Shoot, how do you get the pot? Oh, you prob probably- probably to move with the wizard. So what were we saying? Ah, watch out for spikes! Get out of here, vile things! I thought that's a wooden surface. That's a wooden surface, come on! Come on! Oh. Maybe uh, you make some more boxes? Yeah. I thought it was a wooden surface, but I don't think it is. But we could jump through that gap now, I think. Go wrong way. <laughs> Make a box here. In a better spot? <laughs> or move it over? We're kind of better spot. So anyways, like, just move it a bit to the left, because I just need to get through this space. Yeah? How about that? Okay. The yeah, oh. stack, stack, yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. No! Wait, no, no, I got an idea. That was not my idea. I've got a better idea. I mean, uh, stacking was fine, it just wasn't... Oh, Lord. <laughs> I think it's too steep. Oh, no, don't that do That is thing. a spike ball. That is a spike ball. Oh, my God, move it. Throw it away. So like we were trying to say, because we were talking about something. Oh my gosh. It's just game intelligible. Game. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, human scale, studying urban centers and how Go we can forward. improve them. Basically, in a nutshell. Oh, it's can't not fit the through steep. the hole. It's not how steep it is. 
No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's blocking the hole now. The spike's back. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and basically there's a lot of ways we can improve city centers to improve social interactions, which ultimately leads to people being happier. And uh, this guy is the architect that we're following along in the docu uh, documentary is from Copenhagen. And if you've been to Copenhagen, it's like uh, rated one of the happiest places on the earth based on a whole bunch of parameters that you can look up online. I, I forgot where exactly. Um, so Copenhagen does a lot of these things and admittedly I visited for like a few days and it does seem like a surprisingly happy pace place even though the weather is undesirable to say the least there we go that took way longer than it probably should have yep that's all it took I just whoa 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 what are you trying to do man kill us no just being careless oh. I'm dead It's okay. I'm gonna. Um. It's all good. I'm coming back. I just decided to go uh, respawn the. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You died? Oh my gosh, this is humiliating. I'm like dying continuously right on a respawn point. Oh, at least you found this a This is high quality gameplay that's... here. This is how you're supposed to play the game, people. Is it? Yeah, this is exactly this is pro strats here. Only noobs don't die. This is some pretty... Ah, I didn't even see the stupid spike ball. They're just like... <laughs> wow, keep getting distracted from this conversation. Oh my goodness. In well, a nutshell... It's, it's, yeah. We need to have more places for people to interact. And, and less places consumed by large skyscrapers and whatnot, because that obviously does not encourage people to meet and socialize with people outside of their social it's circles. It's true. Or having families. said that, having said that, having said that, I... Oh, that's cool. I'm going to use that. Um, I have gone on the Chicago um, skyscraper tour. It's a boat tour. And that's really cool to see just from an architectural standpoint. Like, I think it's not good city design, mind you. But at the same time, I do respect the grandiose architecture. I did not handle that well. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like, I like the way, for example, Brussels, where we live, um, the way it's designed. Because the city center, the old city, there are tons of places for people to meet up and interact and basically just sit outside and drink or eat or whatever. And I find myself talking to strangers all the time. Even now during this lockdown, I find myself chatting with my neighbors every day. Obviously, it helps that um, I play music for them every day, too. But that aside, like now we interact all the time and just talk about anything and everything and it's actually been rather nice um but even prior to the lockdown i found like my social life improved immensely just from moving oh yeah to europe which is insane because i know way more people back in north america but i would probably argue you know the relationships weren't as strong like they're mostly held together i hope you're not taking offense to this anybody in north america possibly watching this but it's just you know the we would socialize when we're working most of the time i mean that's kind of how it goes for most musicians but it's so hard when everyone's so far apart and you have to own a car to go visit a friend in like brampton 
Yeah. Like for me to get to Northern Brampton by bus, it takes like an hour and 40 minutes from like Markham or hour 45. And it's not that far. It's the same big city. <laughs> well, it's just a bigger continent, Which man. Is... I mean, Europe's old. Uh, well, I mean, the, the cultures here are old. And um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I agree, obviously, like, Europe's older, and therefore, um, they have a bit of an advantage for this, because their cities weren't designed for, like, a million people, and therefore, by default, <laughs> they kind of already done these things. We were never really meant to live in metropolises. We just, we don't, oh, don't really thrive that. in that and situation. I've read a lot of articles on how the, um, the next wave of the future are mid-sized cities, so I think that's what you're speaking to in Brussels. Brussels is just a smaller city than Toronto. It just is. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a population. most cities are. Toronto's yeah. outrageous. Well, Brussels is smaller than Columbus, where I'm from. Technically, you know, Columbus has like half a million more people. They're just spread out. They're just really spread out. It's just different. It's just different. But I hear you about social life. Okay, so just so you know, I upgraded Box. I'm on the upgrade screen, and I upgraded Box. So now the wizard can conjure a box into the world. It is possible to vary the size of each box from conjure. Now four boxes can exist at the same time. Sweet. Good to know. Now what four boxes. just happened? What do you mean what just happened? I went to the pause menu. I stepped on something. Oh yeah. Did I just reach the end of the level and didn't realize or did it just teleport me? Why am I beside you all of a sudden? Because I was in the pause menu upgrading our skills. And that automatically moves me to you? Well, I think because I upgraded a skill, then maybe the code in the game respawns you right next to me? I I don't know. It I doesn't really know. matter. I'm not dead, so I'm already happy. Yeah. Um, low bar, I know. Is this the end of the level? <laughs> I... Well, no, I was, I was below us, so if we keep going down... Yeah, sometimes I wish they had a map for... Nope, we could break this wall. Uh. Yay! Ah, thank Roar, you, Fist of. Oh, chest! Yay! Goodies! Hooray! It might be near More the stuff. end of the level, though. I Yay. think we are. Found, found an enchanted an health crystal. Enchanted health crystal. What does it do? Inventory. Increases the effect of each collected health potion or health drop by 5%. How much do we care? Fine, leave it with the wizard. <laughs> no, give the health potion to one uh, of the fighters. Oh well. Anyways. I mean, the knight only dies when we do something stupid, which is often, unfortunately. But <laughs> Just often, I was going to say, I killed the knight today doing something stupid. It's like, be careful what you wish for there. I just um, did something stupid again. Yeah, no, I, I just fall through this hole. I do like watching documentaries. I wish I watched more documentaries when we just hang out. Um, I wish I'd I did. love to do that more. I care more for doing that than watching movies, to be honest. I'm just not a big movie guy, so yeah. obviously I'm biased. Keep going, keep going. Was that bad? I think I did a bad thing. Nope. Nope, no? you, you, you're fine. You it was sure good. About that? I went into the water. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, poop. Oh I'll no. Edit it out. Don't worry about it. Bleep it out. <laughs> well, there's more skeletons, so I guess that's a good sign. Ah, oh, this is Don't a really long level. Thing. Like this there's episode. Here. Don't step on that. Oh, wait. Do oh. step on it. Uh huh. Whoa. Whoa. There's a Bodacious. lot of treasure over there. But wait, how do we get it without here. dying? And the um, water? Oh, on the wall. Okay. Uh, uh hmm. wizards? Yeah, I'm just wondering. How do we do this? Because the water is a problem. Oh, lucky break. Thank oh, you, yeah? Spikes. Oh, jeez. You can noise. get up there. I noise, failed. Noise, 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 noise. Nice. I'm going to drown. Yay. How do I? <laughs> Don't drown. I, I can't remove. Yeah, Swimming okay. I guess I'll drowning. just. I'll see what's under here. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I wish I did watch more documentaries. Um, because it's kind of like. 
edutainment. I do watch Both a lot of like educational and entertainment. Yeah, but I do watch a lot of edutainment on YouTube, like PBS and things like that. But I don't count those as documentaries. But they're just science stuff, you know. I'll watch Hank Green videos and things, you know. Yeah. I mean. Oh I, wow! Yeah, this it's is not a documentary. Skeleton. Whoa! Big skeleton. Big. Oh, it teleported skeleton. me over again. Probably because you started fighting this giant skeleton. Who's not moving all of a sudden. Oh geez, did it just lag? Are we being attacked and I'm just lagging? Uh, I am maybe. totally lagging. Yeah? No! You lagging out? I am so gonna die then. Ah! My, my stream's having trouble too. My stream's having trouble too. I just disconnected. How, how are you doing? Uh, it's better. The OBS is better. So I might drop some frames, but... Oh, oh man, I dropped a lot of I'm frames. I'm killing him. I'm like hardcore killing him. Well, at least it's still following you kill this guy, so that that's helpful. Can I rejoin? Yes, I can. Yeah? You rejoin? All right. It's, it's letting me rejoin. Okay, not so bad, folks. Nice. Yeah, sorry this episode's so, like, disjointed. I'm just We're having a the victory, few connectivity though. issues. Carpet DM has joined and the game. we keep dying. Yeah, carpet's back. It's carpet time. Yeah. Oh, man, I didn't, I didn't even get a single shot off. That's embarrassing. No, but... But yeah, we did it. Hooray. You did it, but I'm going to take some credit. We did it. It's teamwork. We did it. Best episode ever. Wow. That was a struggle. Moral of the story, <laughs> people. Watch more documentaries. Yeah, and if you I haven't already seen it, smarter. check out The Human Scale. <laughs> check out The Human Scale. Yeah. It's great. It'll really make you rethink about how we live. Not in a way that will make you feel guilty like a lot of these food documentaries. <laughs> Not really about that. Um, yeah. yeah, I guess you're right. That is one reason I maybe yeah, don't watch documentaries. I don't want to feel guilty over dinner, you know? Uh, yeah, I don't really watch food documentaries. It always leads to not a, not intense conversations with my scientist wife in a lot of situations. And, uh, I got a question about a docu. They're series. also. Uh, oh, I got Lord. a question about a docu series. There's one coming out called yeah. um, "The Last Dance" about the '98 Bulls. Are you interested in watching? Oh uh, yeah, one? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Every, yeah. The episodes are really Bulls. long, though. That's the only thing. Oh, geez, how long? Like two hours. I mean, I want to support the NBA in their time of need. <laughs> they what, are what in do you need mean? right now. I want to support this huge business in their time of need. They'll be fine. The well, NBA. I think the, the NBA is worth like about, uh, I think it was like $8 billion. And right now, because no games are going on, just looking at the Raptors and their arena, like they're losing, yeah. they've lost $150 million already just from all these canceled games. And it's creating this huge trickle down effect or a cascade really, it's not trickling down at all. So they're gonna have to decrease the cap basically for players and people are losing money, which most of you probably don't care because, oh, they're already billionaires, but don't forget that they really have to slug it out for years through like college ball and then sit on the back end of rosters and not get paid that much to get to the point where a lot of these guys are if you're a superstar you're probably okay assuming you manage your money properly well there's the there's, the there's the players and the coaches and the front office and everything but there's just a lot of jobs that sports create you know you gotta yep. think all of the commentators True. I mean, you they're also of, doing well. All but. the people doing concessions, all the people selling shirts, all the people, like, there's a lot of jobs that go into sports. Well all put. Right. Producer Mike, well put. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to check yeah, that one out. Yeah, that's a much with, better uh, argument. With, with uh, the 98 Bulls, you know? All right. Well, this is the yeah. end of the, uh, the level. That was that was yeah. maybe not the finest hour of our playing, but but stick around and come back for another episode, and we'll try to play better. So yeah, I think we will, and uh, yeah, we'll have uh, more fluid conversations because we won't be dying as much. <laughs> Promise. But yeah, in the comments, put a right. uh, documentary film you've been watching lately. Yeah, we'd love to see what you guys are into. Maybe make a few recommendations that we could check out. 
All right, guys. So until the next episode, thanks again for joining us here at Keto Emotion Plays, and we hope to see you again next time. Take care.